Okay, BAT, this is the walk around of an AM General M998HMMWV. Now, this is a U.S. Army veteran. This served until about 2015 before it was released from the U.S. Army. It had recently been fitted with the 6.5 GEP engine. And you can look at the photo gallery to see pictures of the engine specification as a photo in the gallery. That engine was so new, it still had all the original paint marks on it. Even some Cosmoline was still left on the engine at the time that we purchased it to begin the build of this truck. So just walking around, I'll start by showing you that it has a host of things on it from both Custom Combat Trucks and Black Dog Customs. Both those companies are local to us and they are our friends. And basically what you see here is you see the front bumper from Custom Combat Trucks. That bumper is built to accept a winch. It is not fitted with a winch at this time, but it is built to accept a winch. It is fitted with a pair of LED fog lights. Looking just above that, you'll see that we have a pair of truck light LED headlights. These are awesome headlights. I've got these in several of my vehicles. These were fitted by Custom Combat Trucks. It also has the Custom Combat Trucks LED turn signal lights, both front and rear. You can see them there. And then up top here, it has a rack from Custom Combat Trucks that was designed to hold a 50 inch uh, LED bar, which is extremely bright and works awesome. And uh, the way it's set up, it doesn't create any glare on the windshield or anything like that. I find myself using that light bar a lot in this truck. Uh, moving right along here, it also does have a deep water fording kit. So that is the deep water snorkel. I'll show you on the back the exhaust pipe that goes along with that. Both of those were basically ceramic coated. That's not paint, that's ceramic coating on both the intake and the exhaust. Uh, recently, just going to the front end of the truck, it's had a full hub service by Black Dog Customs, new ball joints, new tie rod ends, new pitman arm. Uh, these trucks a lot of times need front end repairs, and uh, when they're sold at auction, they're in usually pretty poor condition. But Black Dog Customs and Mike Vaden went through the front end of this truck less than three months ago, corrected the alignment, and it drives absolutely phenomenal after they did that particular work. So now I'm going to walk to the back and show you a few other features. So there is the ceramic coated deep water fording exhaust pipe. And that's got the full kit put with it. The, basically the structure that goes underneath the bottom side of the rear fender here to support it as well as all the other bracing. It, it was installed by Black Dog Customs and that was done properly. Um, looking at the rear here, we have another pair of Custom Combat Trucks taillights, which are LEDs. And we have the, LE, the uh, Custom Combat Trucks rear bumper as well. And of course, this has an AM General tailgate. A lot of people like that, and I'm one of those people I like to, to show as AM General. Uh, looking at the back here, we do have a backup camera that uh, works in conjunction with the backup system that you see on the dash there inside the truck and we've uh, configured that so it works as a rear view mirror. These trucks don't really have a rear view mirror, so that stays on all the time and it acts as a good rear view mirror and it's aimed properly for that. So moving right along here, I wanna bring to your attention that Custom Combat Trucks did do their speed liner on the body of this truck. They did a good job, of course, it's red speed liner, red with black accents. It really pops. Uh, I don't know if the pictures or video really do it a lot of justice. I do have some photos of this truck before the work was done. Done. It was basically desert tan and the body was in excellent condition. Uh, we had about 17 of these trucks and we kept this one because it was the nicest one of those 17 and it also had the 6.5 GEP engine which I considered a huge upgrade over the 6.2 GM engine. Looking at the tires and wheels, these are Armory wheels in 20 inch. They are wrapped with a 1350 wide, 20 inch rimmed, 38 inch tall Cooper Discoverer STT Pro. And the tires are great. They, they only have about 2000 miles on them. 
And all this work was done basically 1,600 miles ago, everything you see here. We've, we've driven it roughly 1,600 miles since everything was done. And those tires, they're not very loud on the road. Of course, the noise created by the truck is actually kind of overcomes the noise of the tires. Um, moving to some other points here of, of some good concern, this does have genuine X doors on it and um, they are fitted with new Lexan windows that were done, of, of course, again, 1,600 miles ago. Um, I've, I've added some seals to those over the factory seals to help them seal up a little bit better. Of course, it is a military vehicle, and it doesn't have the world's best creature comforts when it comes to pouring down heavy rain and things like that. The, the top doesn't leak, however, you will have a little bit of water come in around the doors. I've resealed them, and 95% of that has been eliminated, okay? Um, of course, X doors run three to four thousand dollars a pair, and these were in excellent condition <clears throat> before they were speed lined. Of course, you could tell that. And then here, of course, we have LED marker lights on the rear, and we also have them up here on the front. So every light on this truck is an LED light, and that makes a big difference with these vehicles. So now I'm going to show you a few things on the inside of the truck. So here we are inside the truck. It is nice and plush in here. This does have the Custom Combat Trucks full center console. This is made of steel. Uh, it has a couple of cup holders there. You could add a couple more back here if you would like. Um, it houses the JVC stereo up front. It also houses the controls for the AC and also has a couple of provisions there to charge phones and has a USB. Uh, this particular switch here is what turns on the LED light up top. And then this turns on the interior lights here. We have LED interior lights. Uh, this provision here is what turns on the backup camera. And then this provision here is what turns on our front fog lights, okay? Now, something about this truck is it does have the 4L80E electronically controlled transmission. So it's a four-speed transmission. That allows this vehicle to run down the highway at 65 to 70 miles per hour at absolutely no problem. I find myself breaking a 55 mile per hour speed limit in this truck all the time. It really gets down the road. And having driven this truck with a standard three-speed in it, I will tell you it is absolutely night and day between what it used to be and what it is now, even having the same 6.5 GEP engine, okay? So the, here's the backup camera here, <clears throat> and then we have four Smitty built seats. Now these are typical uh, seats that would be used in a Jeep. They are new. Again, all of this work was done 1,688 miles ago. That's including the AC system here, the red dot AC system, the center console, and all the other work that you see that was done by Black Dog and Custom Combat Trucks. Okay, so getting into the driver's seat, we actually took some three-quarter inch rubber mat and made our own floor mats front and rear. That helped cut down a lot of the noise. We have a lot of dynamat in this truck. On the other side here, over on the passenger side, there was a lot of noise coming in, so we, we dynamited that and it made a huge difference. Um, here at the steering wheel area, uh, basically I'll show you what comes on. I'll turn the air off here real quick so you can hear me a little better. Um, of course, these are the headlights, and then we've got our turn signals. Radio comes on, so you can see that flash in there. Turn signals left and right. Um, of course, this has still the, the factory military switch in it, so you have to learn how to use that. Here's all the instrumentation, as I showed you a little bit ago. Um, truck cranks right up, it drives great. Um, it does have, you know, of course, it's full-time four-wheel drive, but right now it's running an H. It also has an HL for high lock which locks the differentials, and then you have a L for low. So that's the low range. All that does work properly. Has e-brake here. Um, again, another picture of the backup camera, another picture of the front console. We do have the LED lights here for the interior. I wanna turn those on for you. As you can see, those come on left and right. That's pretty cool. Wipers are here and they do work. Um, it's just a really good, well-sorted prior military HMMWV.
Okay, I'm gonna bring it up to about 1500 RPM here. And that is 10 degree air, um, six and a half degree air coming out of it. So the AC works very, very well. Uh, you can see here the stereo also works. Just to show you that I was not giving you a false reading here. We're at 80 degrees there. And then back down here, we drop really quickly back down to 18 degrees. Okay, so it shows you that. Um, now let it come back to idle. I'll shut it off and I'll show you a few more things without the engine running. All right, here on the passenger side, you see we do have three point seat belts. There are three point seat belts front and rear, left and right on all four positions. The ones in the front are new, the ones in the rear are the original military ones that used to be in the front. We move those to the rear, they do function fine. You see, we have another speaker here, another AC vent here. Um, this is the area where you can see we, we actually put in the floor mat there, the three quarter inch thick floor mat. And then we dynamited this entire area here. That cut down a lot on ambient noise in the cabin. Okay, so here we are underneath the Humvee. You see the custom shortened drive shaft for the 4L80E transmission. That was done by Custom Combat Trucks. Again, all this has about 1,600 miles on it since it was installed. It is a 4L80E transmission. Um, you can see here we do not have any leaks under this vehicle, which is very rare for a military vehicle. Of course, uh, one can start at any moment with a military vehicle, but you can see just how dry it is even around the oil pan and all that sort of thing. The oil filter was changed by custom combat trucks as well as all the other fluids except for the hubs, which were done by the guys at Black Dog Customs. So the engine has no leaks at all, bone dry. Transmission, just a little bit wet, but there's nothing, it's not even a weep coming off of that. Um, you can see all the linkage and things under there. You can see the front drive shaft as well. And then the, the uh, ball joints and tie rod ends were just replaced by the guys at Black Dog Customs about three months ago. Uh, looking a little bit further over here, you can see the floor pans are very dry. That's the driver's side. Now I'll show you the passenger side. And that's the passenger side. This truck is also not all beat up on the bottom side. Best we can tell it belonged to a reserve unit and I don't believe it was ever deployed because it certainly does not look like it. Of the other vehicles we had there was like you know 17 of them that were nowhere near as nice as this truck which is why we retained this particular one. And then I'll turn you around here. And the muffler there. And then the rear drive shaft. And then over here we have the rear wheels and differential and brakes. And all of that is in great condition. Mechanically it was gone through uh, by two different, very well-known, competent shops in the industry. Uh, fuel tank is here, no fuel leaks or anything like that. We did replace the glow plugs and the glow plug controller at uh, Black Dog Customs. So that was done initially when we had them install the four-man uh, roof system. So all that has been done.